Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Sorry, Mom. Good morning. How are you guys? I hope you guys are having a good morning. Let me turn on this light right here. Um, good morning, Amber. Good morning, Tang. It's so nice to see you again. Good morning, Shelly and Misho. Hi there, Biscuit. You're nearby. Biscuit boy. Amelia. Amelia's family is on. How are you guys? Um, We're thinking well, of you I'm guys. Sorry. Yeah, not, not how are you. More like, I'm so sorry here. Yeah. What's going on? Um, we're just gonna kind of get right right to it. Um, my phone. So uh, I think I'm gonna read the GoFundMe update. Oh, okay, all right, yeah, that's good. So I'm gonna read the the update that Chris shared on the GoFundMe. Um, just as a quick preface, Amelia is back in the hospital, um, and so. Every we need everybody to send like kick back that positive juju back up. Um, yeah, Amelia has her age on her side. Um, young, you know, young people, young animals, they bounce back easily. And so, um, these couple of things that have come up if, if the vet can, can untangle this, um, we feel very strongly that Amelia can bounce back. Um, that was like one of the big things we wanted to make sure, um, Chris and um, the whole family understands and realizes that, um, you know, once these, you know, I'll, re I'll read the update, but like the, um, once these things, these other little things get resolved, um, you know, the younger you are, usually the lot, a lot, um, you fare a lot better. So let me go ahead and get to the update. Okay, so Chris says, we are back from the vet hospital. Amelia was admitted back into the ICU. The fluid that they saw in her chest cavity has reached a dangerous level, and they're working with the belief that it contains bacteria. They're going to insert the proper equipment so that they can drain it and test it. If it is infected like they're assuming, then she's going to have a very long treatment plan in front of her that includes very aggressive antibiotics and rinsing out and draining the chest cavity several times a day. She's also, um, in people, that's called a paracentesis, where you just, you put a, like, kind of like a chest tube with the lungs, but instead you just put it um, in, like, the, like, he's at the cap, the chest cavity, and it just drains all that extracellular fluid. Um, uh, it also, when they do that paracentesis, usually they will do, like, a rinse that includes an antibiotic, and so they can put that rinse through that has an antibiotic and kind of goes like directly into the, the root of the problem. But anyway, um, she is also on oxygen because she was having problems breathing and is going to be fed intravenously. So IV with that TPN that we've talked about um, since she is once again refusing to eat. Yeah. They took her blood to check on her liver values. The vet came in long enough to let us know that her infection values are off the charts. Her red blood cell count is very concerning. And they had me signed to authorize patient treatment, took Amelia and ran to the emergency room with her where she was joined by a number of other vets of various kinds. The doctor was very kind, but she told us that her chances of survival are right now very critical. She is extremely weak and having problems fighting with all the problems that she has going on. The jaundice has gotten much worse, which is why they did the blood work again. Then the lack of food, problems breathing, fluid in the chest cavity, and she looked at the x-ray and said, I don't like the look of that when looking at her stomach cavity. Her chance of survival was more or less zero if we would have kept her at home. When asked directly what her chances are in the hospital, she said that they don't want to give up yet. I'll be getting another call this evening once they have more information about her status, and we will go from there. Um, and I want you guys, I want to make sure you guys know that you are doing everything you can possibly do, um, and there's nothing more you could have done during those couple of days. Um, if anything, it is helpful for Amelia to have like a little sort of a check-in with you. Um, and, but that's, um, she's, she still was very sick when you guys got her home and Drew and I were kind of surprised that they didn't want to like monitor, you know, for a night. Um, 
But, but when she, now that she's back in the ICU, I know as scary as it is, um, she has, you know, as soon as they notice her heart rate dip, they have meds, they have meds, they have support, they have resources. Um, and so, and some of this kind of like built up after, you know, those couple of days without having, you know, the expert's eyes on her. Um, and so I don't want you guys to give up. I know you're not giving up or you're giving up, you're not giving up hope, but I just want to let you know that it's not false hope. There is still, um, she can, she can bounce back at this age. Um, she might just, she may just not have been ready to go home yet. And it could just be as simple as that. Um, because you know, the clinic, especially, you know, a, a big animal hospital, like what she's at, they have so many resources and so many ways to, um, mitigate different problems. And what's difficult in a condition like hers is that the repair a lot of times can cause other issues because it, it disrupts what the body knows as balance and your body is always trying to maintain an equilibrium. And so when one thing gets off the charts, then your body will try to take from somewhere else to try to balance it out a little bit. Um, and then, you know, by in doing so, that disrupts the balance, you know, wherever they took from. And so that's kind of what we mean when we say that if they can untangle some of this, um, she will be able to, she has her youth on her side. Um, you know, she, other than this issue, she's a very healthy dog. Um, and so we have, we have a lot of hope for her. We hope you don't, we hope that um, you don't blame yourselves. Um, Amelia really needed to see you guys, I'm sure. And, and of course, um, you guys needed to see her too, I'm sure. So um, I don't want you guys to feel guilt because I'm sure you do and I don't want you to. Um, you guys are doing everything you can and um, just all of our, all of our Positive energy is headed your way. Um, is there something? Can you think of anything else you wanted to? Uh, I just wanted to say that we're like um, we're thinking about you guys a lot, and um, yeah, we don't want you guys to uh, to lose hope. Um, we really, really, we are really. Um, no, no, I'm just like we're like beside ourselves. Yeah, we are beside ourselves. We we want Amelia to to get healthy for you guys and come back to you. And um, I don't know, we're just thinking about you a lot. So yeah, um, we've got um, so we're running this live stream. All of our live streams are still fundraising. Um, we've got the aggressive ads turned on. Um, we're also just so, um, you guys know, sorry. Um, do we, so we were, you know, looking at the ad revenue and, um, for like our fundraising and I wasn't sure which day we started on the fifth or the sixth, or the seventh. And so Drew and I, um, we're just going to back it up to the first. And so whatever we, for March, um, and so whatever we, um, whatever revenue is generated for March is what we'll donate. Um, and then, so in April, we will receive the deposit or it's like around the 21st of each month. So, um, April 21st, we'll be able to send that over. Um, but it will, um, like all those other streams that we've played, those are still accumulating ad revenue. And I, I've been updating the description with, um, what we've raised for on both fourth wall and YouTube fourth wall is the merchandise. Um, and we are at, um, it was like 600 and it was, it was pretty high. Let me look at that. So the, um, fourth wall is at $652 and 60 cents and YouTube ad revenue is at $166 and 62 cents. So we're at a total of about 800. Yay! My next goal was seven fifty. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. Say that again. We're up to eight. Merch and ad revenue. We so 
merch is six fifty two and ad revenue is one sixty six. Oh, nice. Yeah. There we go. Um, so we blew right past your goal of seven fifty. Yeah, just blown past. Um, and but we're continuing to fundraise for them because these vet bills just keep coming. Um, it's adding up, and. Um, I don't mean to make it all about money, but that's like the one way that we can help from over here. And so um, that's why we have a big focus on that. So I apologize if 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 it sounds like I'm hustling a lot. Um, it's just that's we don't want them to have to be worrying about financing this, at least not any more than they have to um, when when they've got their children to worry about. And, um we just want to make this as easy as we possibly can for them, which I know it won't be easy, but I think you guys know what I mean. Um, so thank you to everybody who's donated, everybody who has um, stuck by us with the live streams, with our aggressive ads. Yeah. Um, you know, that's not fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you guys are getting bombarded with ads and whatnot. And we appreciate you guys sitting through that for, yes, for them, for, for the, um, for the Adkins. Um, and when we when when we're past the fundraising part, we will return the ad, the ads won't stay aggressive. So don't worry about that either. Uh, Chris go back down. Chris said that he really appreciated uh, you translating. Um, I already put it. Um, um, thanks for the kind words and thanks for the extra explaining during the live um, stream. It is very informative and I'm learning how to translate more and more medical terms aww. because of it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad Chris. Yeah. So I would say, keep up with like, you know, the, so interrupting. So fast. <laughs> yeah. Interrupting and, and giving, the, yeah, the, giving, the, I'm sure helps out a lot. Um, and I've, I've seen you with having paracentesis done and it's, they'll do it multiple times. A over and they hook them up to the machine but the patients are like awake and talking i mean they're not they're not like comatose they're um it's kind of like a kidney uh, a dialysis on kidneys um so you, kidneys are over here um but um the dialysis is cleaning the blood and this is just draining fluid um but um People, when people, I've seen people have it done and they're not like super, super ill. Um, as long as they're having it done, they get super, super ill when it hasn't been done. Um, and depending on the diagnosis, sometimes it's temporary. Sometimes that's more like end of life care. Um, but with Amelia's diagnosis, her condition, it's not necessarily end of life care. It's just symptom management. So, um, they usually they feel a lot better too after it's been done because pressure builds up and pressure causes pain and so when that pressure is all relieved they usually feel quite a bit better and i'm curious if amelia might be more interested in eating if she doesn't have all that fluid in there um because adding a lot of pressure and um you, many of you probably know, you know, if you're feeling like pressure or cramping in your abdomen, eating is just not on your mind. So, um, prayers for Amelia. Yeah. We have been thinking about you guys nonstop. So, I hope that um, you guys know how loved you are. We love you guys so much, and we hate that you're going through this. Um, but um, I have, I still have Amelia's GoFundMe. It's linked in our description. Um, if you have ten dollars, five dollars, you can remain anonymous. Any little bit helps. And um, um, I lost my train of thought. Sorry. You're fundraising. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but there was a particular branch I was going down. <laughs> You're saying if you have five dollars or ten dollars oh, yeah. to spare, yeah, um, any little bit can help. But um, if you, we also have the merch up, and all merch is subject to the fundraiser. So um, I added a Remy mug. We didn't have a Remy mug, so we now have a Remy mug, and we have a macchiato mug that also comes in black. 
And um, I took Pom Pom off of the Macchiato mug since Macchiato's had been puppies with other moms. <laughs> um, and so Pom Pom is off the Macchiato mug and I replaced that picture with a really cute picture of him as a baby. He's laying, I think he's in the laundry room in it, but he's laying down and his ears are going up. <laughs> and so he looks, he looks kind of like a bunny rabbit, but he's really sweet. Um, so I added those two mugs. Um, and so any purchases through the merch shop, uh, all proceeds will be going to the Adkins fundraiser. Um, and, and so that includes purchases that are not Amelia's army merchandise. Um, and so if you've been waiting to get a t-shirt for the warmer weather, now's the time to do it. Um, all the Amelia's army merch is priced so that, um, about $15 from each item goes to the Atkins. Um, and so when you're looking at the mugs, when you see that like one is $21, another is 22 and another is 23, it's because there's like small price variations in, in the cost to us. And so we added that extra dollar or $2 to make sure that they still get the, they still get some proceeds from it. Um, uh, what else? Um, so the, the fourth wall is a nice way that if you wanted to contribute and, and donate some money, but you would like something, um, you know, to show for it, like a little memento, um, and then you can use the, the merch shop and get a mug or a t-shirt with Amelia's beautiful face on it. Um, I'm impressed. You guys have, we've raised a lot of money so far on, um, from merch. $650 is really impressive. Um, so yeah. thank you. Thank you to everybody who has ordered merch. Thank you to anyone who has, um, we've had several people add, um, donations on top of their merch order. And so that's, um, thank and that's you. all included yeah. in that 652. Yeah. Thank you all for, for all of your generosity to yeah. the Atkins whether it's through their GoFundMe or through merch or even, like we said, just sitting through the ads because we're, we're sending all of this uh, ad revenue and the, the proceeds from our live streams to them. So thank you so, so much. Everything helps. And, and that's why I like the ad revenue part of it because if you don't have money, extra money, if you don't have the money to help out, um, you can still help. You can still support by being here. So, um, and it adds up, it adds up quickly. It was last week I was explaining, you know, like the normal rate of pay per thousand views that we receive on our doggy channel. And it's usually like $3 per thousand views. Um, but with Amelia's fundraiser, it's been pushing like $12 per thousand views. So, um, you guys watching ads has really, really increased the revenue. So, um, we really appreciate your time being here and spending your day with us. <laughs> I know that we have a busy house and um, bad weather really messes with the quality of the video, which we had yesterday. I apologize for that. Um, we had really bad thunder, rainstorms. Um, almost anybody in Illinois or Iowa probably had the same issue. Um, so our internet connection when we have weather like that if there's um, there's just going to be no saving it it's just going to be a, a crummy connection but um today is a lot better so i hope that um the internet the internet goes a lot more smoothly for you guys but um i just i wish we could i wish there were words to, to say that would like that would convey how Sorry, we are that you are going through this. Um, just, I hope that I hope that Amelia pulls through. I know she can. I know she can. She has the she has the will to live, and um, I I think I mentioned how um, research has shown that. When a patient codes, if a patient goes into cardiac arrest or respiratory arrest, they have found that um, when family is in the room with the patient being worked on, that the 
um, survival rate increases almost exponentially, um, especially if the family member is talking to them. Um, they can kind of like focus on that sound, but even if they're unconscious, even if they're, um, you know, not really with it, their brains are still able to recognize it. Even if they're not consciously thinking like, oh, that's mom, um, their brains are able to still make that connection. And so, um, I do think that even though, um, she was not doing well, I think it was really good that she went home with you guys for a little bit, um, to give a little bit of that, um, a reminder, like Amelia, we need you to pull through this. We want to bring you back home. So, um, as scary as it's been, I do think that it was good for Amelia to be home with you guys and Get have a, little, a couple nights with her family. Get a little, little time back home. Remember, like what she's trying to get she's better for. For yeah. <laughs> Oh, I got to get my wrist temperature. She's like, what? Wait, no. <laughs> um, I got to grind. Okay. It's not as loud on the stream anymore. Oh, that's right. Am I on? I am on. There you go. Oh, funsies. Guess what, Myra? <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I know what you're doing. I'm not going to be part of it. I didn't see that, but she saw me greasing up the thermometer and <laughs> she dipped out. Hi, sweetie. Hi, baby. Oh, look at you snuggled with Daisy. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Daisy. Come on, Myra. Come on, sweet. Hi, sweet pie. Yes, you're a good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. Let's help, Luca. Guys, settle down. It's just my rough. It's just my rough. There, Sorry about that. She was caught on the microphone. Get out of here, Daisy. It's okay, baby. Daisy. Uh -uh. No, you guys. Get yeah, back. Daisy. Good girl, Myra. Good girl. Good girl. That's it. Good girl. No more poking. That's it. That's it. There's no more poking. That's it. There's no more poking. Oh, you want to get poked now? No. Okay, it's okay. You're a good girl. You're a good minor girl. Yes, you are. It's okay. It's okay. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Who's a good Myra dog? Who's a good girl? You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yeah. Remy, you were even more scared of the thermometer than Myra. Oh, got it. She's being like Daisy, she's 99.7. Yeah. I'm like, obviously, she's not going into labor because it might be really hard to, to determine her temp drop because her baseline is like, is the upper 99s. But I don't remember it being that way last fall. 
And Daisy likes to eat the Vaseline that we put on it. She's a weirdo. It's even better if it's used. All right, we're gonna get this again. Excuse me, Daisy. It's okay, Myra. Daisy, you're not helpful. Down there. Good girl. No, you wait. Stay right there. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That a good girl. That a good girl. No, Daisy, you don't get to lick the bowl. Good girl, Myra. Good girl. There, it's climbing a little more. Baby, stop. Hi, Paris. Girl. All right, we're over 100 again. Um, so I've tried that before, like I've experimented with that like on myself and it actually kind of works, but I don't know if it would be super accurate for. All right. Okay. So she is a hundred even. Sometimes we have to do a, a second temp. It's like that first round the the probe isn't warmed up yet and so it always almost always has a colder reading by a few points yeah okay. Um, Drew and I have been um, kind of messing with the, our gate setup and floor plan around the house to see how we could um, maximize their area a little bit. Because right now, um, with the boys, um, with Rio and Macchiato going to bed in the doggy bathroom, we've got that pocket door locked. And so it, um, you know, usually through that, that doorway back there, They've got a lot more room to run through. Um, but now that it's been probably like a month since they started sleeping in there, maybe more, um, it is starting to feel a little cramped. And so what I think we're going to do is we're going to um, take down this gate. And um, I think you guys can see the gate in front of the living room. And so we're going to have a, a gate there and then we'll have a gate. We have basement stairs that are over by the front door and so we're going to gate the basement stairs and then the living room um the living room with more of a gate that we can open and shut so that we can bring the dogs in um because we have a gate there right now because we like to take the dogs in there um and like vienna for example wants to run out and explore the house so we have a gate there so that she'll stay in there with us um and so we were thinking of taking this gate down and letting the dogs. Um, I don't know if you've seen, if you've been watching us for a little while, you may remember um, 
when we would do the um our little morning um puppy intro um we would do it in the dining room right there in front of the dining room table and it's a really nice area for the dogs because we've got um the hard floor and so if there's any accidents um it's easy to clean up but even more so with the potty tray, it's real easy to set down and, um, you know, if they track pellets out of it, it's real easy to um, vacuum right up um, and sweep. So I imagine, I, I mentioned this to May and May is like, they're probably all just going to stay in the kitchen. <laughs> and so there's probably a few dogs that are going to want to stay by the heater. Um, but, and we'll probably still like, you know, they'll eat in here, you know, like a lot of that stuff will stay the same. We just want to make it so that they have a little more room to like run, you know, if they want to, if they start playing and getting a little high energy inside, we don't want it to be so that we have to put them outside because before we, they would run down through the laundry room and they would go running into the doggy bathroom and they'd have a big wrestling match in there and then they'd come running out this way. And so it's been kind of sad, not them not having the ability to do that. And so um, we walked around to each doorway. Oh, and then we have the stairs here too. And so we were trying to see, could we rearrange things so that they could have, they could just run straight that way. Um, and so I think that is what we will be doing. Actually. Let me see girl. You're such a good girl. Hi, Daisy Doodle. Hi, sweet thing. Hey, hush. Uh, I've got the spray bottle. Palm. There go the boys. Hold on, Rio Dog.
I use the spoon to stir my ice cubes. So okay, okay. For coffee or something. Thank you. Waste. Yeah, one spoon for one stir. Is this trash? Oh, okay. Um, eating these like drink holders, um, cars, yeah. I thought yeah. this, I've, I, you know what? That's so weird. You, I thought the same thing. Like only, yeah, like I, when I was cleaning up our, uh, not Portillos, but the, um, not Panda. What did we get? A few days, like several days ago. Uh, bring home food. There was when I had Culver's. Oh, it was, Culver's. it was when I was cleaning up Culver's. Ah, yeah. and I was looking at the that's that was the trays. A, that was the same thing that it was the same time period <laughs> where I was like, you know what? It'd probably be nice to have something like this to have, you know, whenever we have, you know, multiple so kids and well, yeah, we can put it on the floor in the car and yeah. it will hold them. Especially if you get two stacks like this. Yeah, or if it's you by yourself and you get um, you know, Starbucks for the kids or whatever. And, Oh yeah, it's always difficult to carry. Yes, but like if I take Bradley with me tomorrow, I can put this. Oh, yeah. Is he big enough for the front seat? Um, I think yeah. I mean, we have been letting him. You know, oh, because yeah. he's. I think it's technically eleven. I think it's twelve. Oh, I think so. Yeah, twelve or eighty pounds, whichever comes first. And I think that he's eighty pounds. He's like close. seventy-nine point. He yeah, because I think he was like fluctuating. 80 to 75. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he really wants to go with or if he just thinks that I want him to. So I'm going to find out for him today. How far away is it? Rala. Um, it's about three and a half hours. Three and a half hours? Yeah. Oh, man, it's a shame that couldn't do something on Sunday where I could like do it where I'm yeah I know yeah they're, they're already gonna be there is oh that's why yeah. Dang it. Uh, I could try and take uh I don't know what the pant rub is no, supposed to signify uh, take Philip and Carter home tomorrow <laughs> oh you don't wanna you don't wanna I know I don't there. yeah I don't want to She's so nice. And I'm curious how far Rala is away from where we meet. Uh, that's what I was kind of looking at because I had like two choices mm. based on where her coming from. And um, Macon, Macon. That was not a choice. And that's why I realized it's like they have a V. Uh. <laughs> it's like people from the West and the East. Uh, yeah, I, was gonna look at I think it was like five and a half hours. Rolla, Missouri, 213 miles away in directions. Yeah, that sounds right. Oh, uh, that's right. You got to go through Lewis. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, that might be a good Starbucks stop. Maybe earlier, yeah. though. I don't know if I might be long. Oh, that's right. It's right in the uh, Mark Twain National Forest. Isn't it really pretty down there? Yeah. Oh. It would be a nice camping trip. Mm -hmm. But still, I mean, we can't we can't be three and a half hours away with dogs. Yeah. So there, that squashes that. <laughs> Love our dogs. We've got such good dogs. Or we could. Uh, we didn't move there. That is. Really big decision <laughs> to be made <laughs> for one trip. Spike do what, what? 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 Upset because he finished his food. Now he wants to get to the cats. Oh, no. See, I don't think it's that he wants to get to the cats. I think it's that he wants to make sure that nobody else is getting to the cats. Oh, he's yeah. so he's um, so protective over his. Yeah, when um, I took Daisy out there, he was, he always kept himself between her and the cats. It's so funny. 
because I've never seen him be so protective of something. <laughs> Those I've seen him was when like he gets Missy pregnant and she's right carrying his child. His child. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I am. That's me. <laughs> Gonna have to start getting the whelping pool situated so that it's not last minute like it was yeah. in August. Well, did it make oh yeah uh, yeah hmm Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. <sighs> oh no, that is the wrong one. Oh, where are the girls? Where I'm gonna put these in the pantry. Okay, okay. Boiling hot water. You know what we could always do with these boxes if we accumulate enough of them is we could take the stickers off. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is like when we're overflowing with them. Um, take the stickers off and then package like all the puppy go home. It would fit everything, but like the, the plush toys, uh, yeah. ropes, teethers, all the, the toys, and, and then whatnot. put the lid on. It's like nice and easy to carry. Yeah. And then it's a little storage bucket. Too, yeah, then. storage bucket for their for their, their doggy toys. Yeah. I wish I could figure out why Cavaliers is copyrighted and we can't put that on any of our bags. It's because of probably like the Cleveland I mean, Cleveland I know, Cavaliers. It was a problem before, and the Cleveland Cavaliers were around for both times. We were the uh, Cavaliers. Were like what? Red Barn Cavaliers? Uh-uh. No, we're putting the we're putting the kibosh on that. Flipping sports all about it from everything else in life. <laughs> Here in the States.
I still feel like that one reporter or comedian stole our joke about the sports playing sports. Oh, yeah. Better, better than <laughs> other sports. Sports. No, they played sports better than we played sports. Is this international light being? What's that? Is this international delight being thrown out? Yes, it is. Wait, I thought you were going to have kids do that. I know, I know, I know, but now that they don't do it. I'm just going to get this out because the issue is that Robin. Yeah. But. No, the kids need to do this right. This, this, they they okay. know that we'll eventually do it. Yes, they just wait us out. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. Who can wait the longest? Yes, yeah. We will have trash just billowing, billowing out. out. Dogs will be it's rummaging. That like everybody her. loves Raymond episode yeah. in the suitcase. Yeah. Huh. All right. We'll be looking like we're living in a third world country with the dogs going through the trash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be like, well, kids, if only you would just empty the trash. And I'll be like, well, oh. if, you, if you weren't so bad. Oh, wait, one minute. Well, so much. Oh, I should have brought Rio in here. Are the girls still going to be out for a minute? Um, I'm going to bring Rio and Macchiato in for a minute. Uh, Ma Macchiato is out in his kennel. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to bring Rio in for a minute. Yeah, if you want to bring him in real quick, because I'm going to have to bring the girls in and feed them. Would you move? Move. Rio, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Come on, let's go play. Rio, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, Rio? He's such a good boy. I love you, Rio. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You want to go play with the girls and eat some poop. I know. They're going to fall over. You're such a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> we should put a tray in there for him. For a Whoa, while. hey, yo. Yeah, he anyway. does, does that. I don't it. It's because he's excited to see you. I'm a little too excited. <laughs> You do. You are a little, little happy. Yes, you're a good boy. You want some snuggles? <laughs> she was a so, hop. He bounces a lot. He's so happy. Hey, buddy. Hey. <gasps> oh, he's such a good boy. He's so pretty. He's a handsome boy. He's a handsome Rio. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Rio. Oh, he's a, he's a crumb. It's like, Dad's eating stuff. Dad, Dad has food. Rio. Yeah, whatever, I have Dad. snuggles. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I'm just you. Oh, no, it went under so. Oh, no. 
Did you lose oh, a real? Boy. <laughs> oh, there you go. That was a tough ice cube. My goodness, that ice cube had some legs on it. That was a tough one. Good job, buddy. Like every time he went to grab it, it his, shot out. His teeth would, yeah, uh. his teeth would like shove it, and he had so much momentum that it. Oh, look at how well he's sitting. He does that. You do a very good job of sitting, and that face is quite silly. It's not silly. <laughs> he's got the. I know it's so sweet. He's trying to be good. He is being good. He's, he's a good boy. He's like, okay, so why won't you notice it and give me more ice cube? You want an ice cube, buddy? Yeah, he does because. I usually give them like three. <laughs> Bounce. He said, Good boy. There you go. Oh, that's a, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, where'd it go? Oh, okay. <laughs> that is. There you go. That's a boy. <laughs> Such a good boy, Rio. Could we bring the girls in with him and just, I mean, he's not going to try anything when yeah, we're in no, here. I think, I think they'd be okay, as long as we're in here. Because the girls who were in heat are, they're like, they're not fertile anymore. They're just, they're at the... They're in the, the, the spiral end. down. So I don't think that he'll be trying to get them, but as long as we're in here to watch, then I think we'd be okay. As long as we're in here to watch it. <laughs> Look a boy. Uh oh. Your fur is so incredible, Rio. Incredible. And you've got your dad's muscles. You are such a good boy. Yes, you are. You are. You are. <gasps> You're gonna get some friends. Do you want some of your friends to come in? Huh? Dad's not going to make you leave. He's not going to make you leave. You're a good boy. You are a good boy. Yes, you are. For sure. You are so handsome. Yes, you're a good boy. Yes, you're a good boy. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> you stay away from her. <laughs> Rio. Girls! Girls! Good boy, Rio. Good boy, Rio. He's like, hey, mama! It's mama! Hi, Paris. Hi, Is that your mama? Did you find your mama? Come on, girls. I know, you guys are Paris, all... you always come back with come sticks on. in your fur. Come on. Missy, come on. How do you always come back with <laughs> sticks in your fur? Oh, 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 where's the food? Mocha, come on. Mocha, I love you and your... He was so excited to see Paris. Oh, was he? Um, have you ever noticed <laughs> Daisy that... Daisy won't let him mate with her. <laughs> if uh, if you call and Mocha is like off a ways, she does like a... Yeah, yeah. Like she, she's like, I'm coming. <laughs> I've got a ways to go, but I'll be there. Yeah. Don't forget about me. Hi, I'm Mocha. My good girls. Are you guys all hungry? Yeah. He's being really good. He's sniffing everyone, but then he leaves them alone. See? He's like, oh, you smell good. But I mean, he was sniffing Paris the same way. So it's... <laughs> Ooh, mom. She doesn't even have a uterus. <laughs> Rio. Hey, Rio. yo. Rio, come here. Robin. She's starting the dog food. Come on. Robin dog. He's like, I get to hang out with the girls. Really? I do. I do. <laughs> He's trying to get Missy to play. <laughs> the look on his face. He's like, hey, 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 lady. Hey there, mama. Boy, I can't believe he's becoming like our biggest dog. I know. He really is like growing quite large. He's not even like, he's not, he's not a bad big. No, it's so handsome. Yeah. Where it's so handsome. Oh, look Aww. at you too. Too bad you're related. I was just thinking that. Too bad you're related. Hi, Remy, baby. But you're you will great. make a nice, nice uh, dad with Myra. Won't these two make nice looking puppies? Yes, they will. And, oh, my goodness. And these two right here. And these two. Yeah. 
Because Missy, for whatever reason, you make cute pups. Because she's cute. <laughs> <laughs> she's a good mama dog, aren't you, Missy? Don't you yes, try humping the pregnant lady, okay? Missy. Get that out of the way. Missy, you're so good. Aww, are you going to take care of Myra? She was, she was getting all lovey with him. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Robin, you're all soft and fluffy. I love seeing how happy the girls are to see him. Yeah. Like to see him see him. <clears throat> Hi. Oh, oh, the kitty cats are a little jealous. Uh -huh. <laughs> that sounds like they were doing the handle. Yeah, that, that, yeah that's a, it's them. Yeah, because the boys are, are in their oh, kennels right. eating. Yeah, oh so that, that's a cat going. A cat getting the handle. Hi. Oh, they want to come in. Meow. We're going to get some snuggles. Cutie Pie is probably like, Rio is mine. Oh. 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 <laughs> Smoke up. Yeah, on stepped on her. Oh, Aww, you two going to get playful. What were you doing out there? Hmm? Hi, Remy Dog. You were so far away that you had to do your... You had to howl. Yeah, do your call. You're, I'm here, I'm coming. I'm here. She is turning into a really pretty dog, too. Yeah. Once she gains a little bit of weight. She's perfect. Well, worry, a little bit thicker. Yeah. No joke. Your daddy was pretty skinny when he was little, too. Yeah. And your mama is still skinny. <laughs> your mama is still little. Oh, wait. Is this on? It is on. You're the girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And you have your own emoji now. Remy has her own mug and her own emoji, Dad. Oh, really? Remy is like RBC YouTube official. <laughs> He's such a good girl. Mew. He Mew. was so happy to see Paris. I pretty. He's That's got to know that the, the, she mom. is special to him in some way because. He was first he was sniffing Robin, and she was kind of growly. And then he, um, hey, mom. he, I think then he sniffed Remy. Yeah, and then Paris came in, and like the look that washed over his face was just pure joy. Aww. And so he went over, and he, so the other dogs, he went and sniffed their butts. With Paris, he came over and started looking at face first. Huh. Like it was a more personal thing. Hmm. Like he is now. <laughs> He's like, oh, you're sniffing her. Aww. Paris is like, I don't want to play right now. That's okay. That's okay, Rio. Yeah, it's okay. Mew. <laughs> Paris is like, nobody talked to me about whether we were going to bring my son in here. <laughs> He's supposed to be on his own, grown up, out of the nest. Yeah. I don't need to be. Why is he coming back in the home? Yeah. Bothering me, sniffing my asking for money. Hi. Oh wait, did I just do that? I did just do that. Silly me. How's your feather looking, Rio? I think his feathering is gonna fill in some more. I hope it does. Cause his fur is so nice and long on his back, but like his chest feathering is not real thick. Paris is. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I, I think that it might grow out a little bit more. Maybe not a lot. He does have Paris's flower feet. He does. He definitely does have the the Paris flower feet. Aww. Oh my! Oh my goodness! You getting a little anxious? For there food? they go. You're such a good boy, Rio. Okay. You are such a good boy. Are all you girls hungry? Yeah. I was like, all right. All right, let's play. You yeah, play. All right, Rio. He's like, what? I don't want to go outside. Hush, inside. Hush. 
Hush. <laughs> hush. Hush. I'm hush. Hush. You still need to go outside and go potty. Oh, I don't want to hear of it. All right, Mocha. Myra, out. Out. Good boy. Hush, go hush, 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 hush. Go potty. <laughs> Sit. Good girl. No. Hush. Hush, hush, hush. One jump. I just got a message from May saying that um, these two assignments she has and these two separate classes. No! They were pulling down off of high honor roll. And she found out that those two assignments aren't counted towards honor roll at all. And so she remained she's still on high Yay! That's awesome. Harris. Harris. Hey! No! Sorry, folks. I didn't mean to be yelling in your ears. I got Missy and Robin. Missy! 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 Missy, sit. Good girl. Mocha. Robin. Mocha. Yes. Good girl. Mocha. Come on, Mocha. 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 Over here. Come on. Good girl. Sit. You're running me, Paris. Sit. Oh, yeah. that's good. Oh, 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 no. I got it. Okay. All right. Paris, sit. Paris. Paris. Good girl. Daisy, sit. Good girl. What, what, are you, what, are you, what is this? Let's just Mocha. Put Daisy on the other side Mocha. Of Come here. Eat your food, sweetie. Robin. Robin, you're going to hurt yourself. Robin. Here. Come here. Hey. There you go, sweetie. Why are you feeding her over there? So that they're not vulturing because oh. they're both done. <sighs> Eat your food, Daisy. And now it's on the lowest step, so it's like brought up to her head, <laughs> so she doesn't have to bend over. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Rio was did not want to go outside. I had to pick him up and put him around. Oh, jeez. <laughs> He's like, this is way too much fun. Oh, it's too much fun in here. He's such a good boy. Once all of you guys are no longer fertile, then he can be in here more. Oh, yeah, Robin's going back down to normal. It's been a minute since I checked Mocha. Have you checked her recently? Uh, yeah, actually, last night. Yeah, and, how, how uh, still there, had to kind of get it. No, 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 her fertility. Oh, her fertility. Um, I actually have not checked that. She was really fertile a few days ago. I was hoping that it's going down. Yeah, I think she is. What do you, everybody you... seems to be on the other side of the mountain. Yeah. Good girl, oh, my Rio is not happy about being outside. You feed those puppies. Eat your food, Myra. Um, yeah. Vienna. Come on, Vienna. Come on, Vienna. Eat your food. <laughs> Easy. Easy. Look at Daisy. Look at Daisy. She's eating. It's like she's keeping an eye. She's like, yeah. Yeah, I, I think know. that is exactly. She, the other, when she was positioned facing the stairs, she had Missy mm. like staring her down. Mm. Um, I was going to do some puppy laundry, like puppy top, like blankets for this pen over here. Oh, okay. Oh, speaking of which, I got to put. Shoot, I was in overnight. Don't worry, I left that one checkered one in overnight and did okay. 
I think I may have left it in for two nights, actually. Ugh. No. Ugh. Uh. Well, you know what? I wonder if this would be a good blanket to use. Frodenbo. Go on, uh, Mocha. Did you not eat your food? Did you scarf it down? <sighs> Mocha. Oh, Mocha. Mocha. Come on, Mocha. No, not you. Um, um, um. Mocha. Come on, Mocha. Come on, Mocha. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Hi, sweet Daisy Doodle. Can you still eat me? I think this is actually the perfect spot for Daisy because she relaxes, but then when the other dogs come near, she gets right back up there and starts eating again. Excuse me. Are you girls all done? Good girl, Myra. Oh, yeah. Good girl. Getting those puppies nice and fat. Yeah, we need a fat. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm oh. So sorry. Oh, I'm so oh. sorry. Okay. Okay, yeah. You just slip. Good girl. Good girl. Mm -hmm. with just like a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Oh, now you can see Robin being. <laughs> that's what Robin does. She, and that's why I moved Daisy away because she will sit wherever there is food available. <laughs> you guys can see her. She's sitting against the laundry room door because that's where Vienna and Pom Pom, or no, not Pom Pom, Vienna and Mocha, okay, no, Vienna and Mocha no, no. are eating. I always pick them up. Oh. Yeah, I like them picked up. I mean, I do I just usually don't. Uh, I usually get left. Hi there, Cynthia. Myra, are you my shadow? I think I've got a Myra shadow. Tanya, it's nice to see you. Um, Tanya asks, is Amelia going to make it? Um, we are hopeful. Yes, we are. Um, but she's in very, very, very critical condition. Oh, oh sorry. Did you get enough to eat for me? Uh, 
Oh, and Cynthia, I saw you uh, mention something about doing live stream with Rio and Macchiato. Um, and that's actually what kind of what we're, we're trying to work our way to that. Um, when we don't have moms in heat, we usually have them in here more. Um, it's just that we've had moms in heat, like one after another, after another, after another, and their heat cycle lasts, you know, up to about two weeks. And so, um, I think all of the moms have had their most recent heat cycles within the last two months. Um, and so we're just waiting for Remy, Robin, and Mocha to finish up. Um, but they should, like, probably by the end of the weekend, I think that they should be okay. So um, once once they're out of heat, then we'll be bringing Rio and Macchiato through a lot more. Um, and that's why we left Rio in when we brought the, the girls in because, um, like, they're, they're past the point of fertility. We just don't want to keep them together. We just don't want to take any chances. Um, but, you know, when Drew and I are standing right here, we can monitor. Um, and Rio did really well. He's such a good boy. Um, I'm really impressed that they don't mark when the girls are in heat in here. Um, each time I bring them in here, um, I'm always keeping an eye for them to mark. And um, right. they don't until on yesterday's stream, I said something about it. And then Macchiato went right over there and marked the refrigerator. Like literally as I was, as the words were leaving my mouth, um, but nothing since. And um, that was the only time that I know of, oh, yeah. but um, the, 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 the goal is to have Rio and Macchiato and Spike on the, on the stream some more. Goodness um, it's just a matter of keeping the boys and the girls organized. You dogs are so good. Look at all these good dogs. Look at these good dogs. Such I've got a Myra shadow. She loves you. She's, 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 I think she's got a, a men thing. Well, yeah. You too are there, Pom Pom. Pom too, yeah. yeah. Good girl. Look at her big old belly. I know, her big old honking belly. She didn't like fall all the way to the ground, did she? No, 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 no. no. I had her like completely down. Oh. All I could man, I don't know if like somebody else walked by and got her tail. I, I don't oh. know. Or maybe like I, I pinched her as she was going like. Oh, uh, okay. So it wasn't like she didn't fell. No, 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 no. She uh, didn't fall. Something just got pinched her. Uh, I'm so excited to see her puppies. I cannot wait. I know. Hello. You're going to have pretty puppies. Yes, you are. Look at that belly. You don't have a belly right now, Remy. You got to take the break. Oh, you got to take the break. Oh no. Heck. Hi. Sweetie. Watch that. <laughs> I love you too, Remy. Yes, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. I just I have one hand for my coffee and one for my <laughs> Um and oh Drew. I don't know if we're going to need to shave her belly fur in preparation for delivery, which would be awesome because um, we, we usually shave them when um, they're supposed to, their belly fur is supposed to thin um, like a week or so before they deliver. It's supposed to start thinning and they should lose most of the fur on their bellies, like around their nipples. Um, but a lot of them don't lose as much as they need to. But Myra, she's it's really thinning out a lot, and with um, with how much fur they lose after delivery, we really don't like to trim it any more than we have to. Um, so we might be able to um, we might be able to leave her fur and just let let her body kind of decide what needs to stay and what needs to go. We haven't felt puppy kicks yet. I've been feeling for them. I'm sure they're there. It's just, um, it's a matter of catching them. But she's still, what's today? 15th, yeah, so she still has six days. Yeah, good girl.
Sorry. How do your ears look? Your ears look pretty good. It's always a good way to start a, a new litter is with a mom who has clean ears. Um, when Robin had puppies, um, not her last time, but the time before, she was like in the rotation to have her ears chucked and cleaned um, right before she had her puppies. And so then when she went into labor, you know, I wasn't worrying about her ears. But poor thing, I really needed, I did it the next day because she's starting to scratch and I could tell she needed it done. So when she had her day old puppies, I was cleaning her ears so that she wasn't uncomfortable. Um, probably like every few weeks or so. Um, sometimes, sometimes I'll look at them and they don't need like a full blown cleaning. So I'll just do like saline and a Q-tip. And then other times they need they need a little bit more than that. Dogs that have the long ears that hang down, um, like your dogs that you have at home, they don't probably don't need their ears clean nearly as much because they don't, it's like they can breathe, whereas their ears they trap stuff, especially when they like are sniffing the ground, dirt and stuff gets kicked up in there, and all the fur kind of hangs onto it. So they can get they can get filthy easily if, if they're getting into stuff. Right, sweetie? You're so pretty. Is this door shut on purpose? Uh, just the open. Yeah. Oh. There's one full is empty, one is full. Are you done? Yeah, I No, Robin. She knows she's not supposed to. Or she was. Robin. Robin. Something hot. She's right here hiding from me. I'm the temp lady. She was so cute when she went hiding. She went into that bed with Daisy. And so she and Daisy were all Yeah. Oh, Daisy, are you ready? Are you all done? Daisy. No, sweetie. Oh, Daisy was in here, so she snuck back out when I asked. Oh, she snuck out?
Uh, I'll check for you. Yep.
Hey, Harris, leave her alone. Harris. Come to your ice cube over here.
you, Roseanne. All right, I didn't, I didn't see you join the stream. I was on another tab. Um, but I, in order for us to do the aggressive ads on the replays, we have to go in and manually place them. And so I'm putting an ad in every single minute for like six hours. So it's a lot of, a lot of um, repetitive movements. And so I didn't, um, I didn't see you, um, I didn't see your message when you signed on, but thank you for joining us. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you're doing well. Um, uh, I, I, pre I saw that you ordered merch. Thank you for your um, support with Amelia. It really means a lot to us.
Sorry about that, folks. But luckily, it died while the girls were outside.
That's some good air, Robin Dog. That air is good. Sniff. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yes, I'm seeing water.
fire drive. We just went outside. What? We just went outside. Oh, that is. Right here. I want to show right there. I want to show part. Yeah. Massive wheel, you know, it's almost going backwards. What? Do that massive wheel, you know, almost go backwards.
rest of it. Yeah, just pour the rest of it in and then add just a tiny bit more water. Hey Google. Hey
Well, I get the
Well, with the piano, that was a joke. I bet it
Come on, girls. No, it's not, Philip. There's another one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now there was a whole bunch of stuff. Want some more?
Harris.
This is the last pack. The last pack of cream corn. This is a regular pack. Okay. What's that used for? We're going to need more than just one pack. All these. What's that used for? All the easy questions. We need three. Where's the gunpowder? And what is this thing called? There's five guys here. Why are they sick? Oh, you don't want well. Are different. So I need six squares of cotton. Two, 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 two. Where will you be in? Two whites.
five. Plus two, plus two. Yeah, six, five. What? Six plus five plus two plus two is fifteen. Minus two is thirteen. Yes, I got correct.
No.
Yeah, I'm going to be watching all of those. So. I miss this.
I sing. I sing. And we do it each day. So I think it's a little more full of this concert. Do that every time. Oh, what do we do?
Lord say the foreign up for? Stop. Can I do it on 
Bella. Bella. Out. Out, both of you. Come on. Out. No, Bella, I'm going to make dinner soon. Oh my goodness, kiddos. You guys are crazy.
These work.
She has her puppies and she's in the pool. What is going on? Guys, all right, stop at the game. Eat your food. I have a really big forehead, Bradley. I said I have a really big forehead. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Oh wait. Yeah, we're getting 
adoption baby. We're, 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 we're adopting a baby. For real? For real? Are we doing a baby for real? Are we doing a baby for real? Are we doing a baby for real? <laughs>
Yeah, what I like what I like about this guy was you can actually like read um, I feel like there's a Vienna. Um, what's that? Who's who's? Bella, 
that's the fella. It's not being safe. It's a little too wild and crazy. And you need to go and find mom because she's got medicine for you. Yeah. What? She yeah, mom has medicine for you. Mom has medicine for you to help you get rid of your if you want to something wrong with it. Oh. You can have, you can have them for your snack later tonight. Your snack dessert. But in order to earn that, you gotta go take nothing first of all. Well, it hurts. Good thing. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. Mommy's telling me things.
Daisy, eat your food. Easy. Eat your food. No. Go on. Yeah. Go on.
Okay, so what are you doing? What happened? Daisy. No. Thank you. 
Right. Don't cry, Paul. Not even that. Bradley broke it. Bradley. Oh, you're going to get your snack ready?
Don't trick her. That's not nice. Yes. Bella, she just wants to love you. Oh, careful, don't slip. Okay, be safe. Love you. It's cool though. It's cool though. Uh -uh.
Myra. Myra, where'd you go? Myra.
I'm doing it to everybody. Yeah. Stop it. Why? This is getting annoying. Why are you using cups? Stop using cups. Oh, yeah. 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 You make that much? I made five cups. Five cups? That's not five cups, but I'm using it over the course of the day. I'm using it about four cups. There's a six cups in here.
where you at? Where you at? Left from where? <laughs> oh, that's where you are.
perfect fit. The perfect for the perfect age gap. Thirty years of twenty years apart. It's like a The perfect for the perfect age gap. Thirty years of twenty years apart. Two plus three is five. No, I'm just, just super dumb. I'm extremely dumb. What? I'm just, I'm just dumb. Were you wrong? Because I was, I was using this. Uh, all right. Oh, cool. It's your turn for the roll to Oh. Mm -hmm. 